Okay, this is the Sunshine Valley Grade 8 written IMA component practice warm-up thingamajig. At 9 a.m., there's school assembly in the gym. There's a lot of words here. So blah, 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 blah. There's 450 chairs. Now, if I take my highlighter, one-third of that 450 is going to be for Grade 7. 28% are for Grade 8, and 132 chairs are for Grade 9. And then the important part is the remainder of the chairs are for staff members. Uh, how many staff chairs does Danny set up is really the question. So what we're going to do here, our 450 chairs are made up of four groups, the grade 7, the grade 8, the grade 9, and the staff. So for the grade 8, uh, one-third of 450 are grade 7, excuse me, not grade 8, grade 7, which means 150 students are, uh, 150 of the 450 chairs are grade 7. For grade 8, it says it's 28%. So 28% of 450, if we interpret it as a fraction, it would be 28%, but more importantly as a decimal, 28% is represented by 0 decimal 28. Multiply that by 450. 28% of 450 is 126 students. So of the 450 chairs, 28% uh, of them are uh, grade 8, which makes 126 chairs. And then the hardest math of all, 132 chairs are for grade 9. There's no math, just write it down. So somewhere you should have something that looks like this kind of math. This math should be somewhere. This math should be somewhere in the 132. The next thing you would have to do is add all of those up. And you get 408 chairs. So of the 450 chairs that are set up for grades 7, 8, and 9, of the 450 chairs, 408 of them are for grades 7, 8, and 9. That means that 42 are left over, which means 42 of them are for staff. Now, the good news is this class got 72% got that correct. Uh, I think 11% of you maybe made a quick mental error or math error because you got 43. And I think 1, 2, 3 is just a guess, maybe. And 57, I'm not sure what happened, but that's okay. Question two says there are five rectangular buddy beaches, buddy benches against the gym wall. So this is a buddy bench. Buddy bench. What we have to do is paint these buddy benches. And we're not going to paint the bottom. It says there's only five sides that need to be, uh, four sides and the top a bright red. So we're not going to paint the bottom. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw my net of the buddy bench. And you could do it any different way you want. I want my five fa faces to be represented here. And I'm going to write, physically write top. I'm going to put the front in here. I'm going to put the back in. And this is not the only way you could do it. This is just my way, right and left. And then what I'm going to do is inside there, I'm going to put the dimensions of each of those faces. So Maggie, the top of this one is... 2 by 2.3 multiplied by 0 0.5. And if I multiply that out, that's 1.15 square meters. So the top of this buddy bench is 1.15. The front is 2.3 meters long by 1.7 meters wide. So the dimensions are 2.3 times 1.7. I'll need a calculator for that. 2.3 times 1.7 is... 3.91 square meters of surface. And since the front is that, the back we know will also be the same. And then finally, the right is 1.7 by 0 0.5. So we're going to put 1.7 times 0 0.5, or half of 1.7, which is 80, 0 0.85. And this one over here will be 0 0.85 as well. So really, a buddy bench has those five faces. So if I add those all together, I'll take my calculator and put it up here. Uh, 3.91 times 2 
equals, that's the front and the back together, plus the top, plus, well, I know that 1.7 is the left and right, so I'll put that in as 1. The total surface area of this whole thing is 10.67 meters squared. That's for one buddy bench. However, it clearly says here that there are five rectangular buddy benches that need to be painted. Over half of you neglected to see there was five, which means I must multiply this by five. It gives me 53.35 square meters of paintable surface. Since each key can can uh, covers four, divide that by four, and we see that we need to buy 14 cans of paint. Now, over half, or half of you exactly, said three. Now, on the IMA, if you did that, the good news is all you did, you didn't do poorly with the math part of it. You did poorly with the interpretation part. You neglected to really see that there were five that needed to be painted, and that's the only piece of information you probably missed, right? So you wouldn't totally flunk out. You would just probably miss one or two points, right? But for those people who are very observant, and said 13 or 14, you did very well. 13.75 cans of paint uh, is pretty darn accurate, but you can't buy three quarters of a can. You either buy 13 cans or 14. Question three. It says that Cynthia gets off the bus and blah, 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 blah. There's an aquarium, and I'm going to draw the aquarium. My favorite part about this whole thing is right here. It says the aquarium is going to be filled with just goldfish. That's my favorite sentence of that whole problem. But they say that the, there's nothing else in the... They're just jamming it full of live goldfish. No water, just fish. So, but if you read it here, I, the assumption is that you need to put water in and you will have 30 liters of water per goldfish. So, what we're going to do is we're going to find the total volume of this aquarium by putting down the dimensions... Now we're going to multiply them all out. So area of the base times the height of the prism. We're going to do 2 times 0.75. The area of the base is 1.5 multiplied by the height, which is 1. Of course, it's redundant. So the volume is 1.5 cubic meters of uh, volume inside that aquarium. One cubic meter, it says here, is 1,000 liters. So this means the volume is 1,500 liters. Then we go back to this. You need 30 liters of water for each goldfish. So if I take the full volume divided by the 30 liters per, that tells me I can have 50 goldfish in this aquarium. 83% got that. That's pretty impressive. That's well done. Very well done. And the last question, how much time do we have left? A minute? Okay, I will leave this question, but I think what this question is really asking you as we interpret it, the first part is going to be something like this. So work on that question. We will correct it, not Monday because I'm not here, but on Tuesday we will correct it together. Okay? Be good to your substitute. On... Oh, yeah.